Hi, welcome to TET coaching class. I am Sunita. In this session, we will study about human mind and we will solve some of the important multiple choice questions. Here we will discuss some of the important topics, working of human mind, persistence of vision, power of accommodation of human mind. First, we will see definition of human eye. Human eye is a natural optical instrument which is used to see the object by human beings. What is mean by optical instrument? Optical instrument is nothing but instrument is used to see the object. Some of the artificial natural optical instruments are telescope, microscope, periscope. Human eye is the one of the natural optical instrument. It is like a camera which has a lens and screen system. Next topic is the various part of eye and their functions. This topic is very very important in CET second descriptive paper. This question they may ask for 3 marks. Explain the diagram of eye and also explain in detail the functions of eye also. Even they may ask both the questions also. Even diagram also. Even explanation both also they may ask. First one is retina. This is the second layer of the eye. We will call it as a retina, inner layer of the eye. It is light sensitive screen inside the eye and which the image is formed. This retina is very sensitive to light and the image always it will form on the retina. It contains rods and also cones. Next one is cornea. It is a thin membrane which covers the eyeball. Cornea is the very thin membrane which covers the eyeball. It acts like a lens which refracts the light entering the eye. Whatever way the, the light enters into, into the eye, they will get refracted at the cornea and the image it will form on the retina. What is mean by refraction? Whatever may be the light rays entering into the eye, they will get refracted. Refraction is nothing but bending of light when it moves from one medium to another medium. Next one is aqueous humor. It is a fluid. It is a fluid present between the cornea and also lens, eye lens. Next one is eye lens. It is a convex lens made up of transparent and flexible jelly like material. This is the convex lens. What is mean by convex lens? The the edges it is thinner at the edge and thicker at the middle in the convex lens whatever how many rays how many rays they will fall on the convex lens after refraction they will meet at a single point that point we will call it as a focal point this property we will call it as a convergence because of this convergence in the eye whatever may be the lights they will fall on the cornea after refraction they will meet at the retina therefore the image on always it will form on the retina this is very very important thing always you have to remember its curvature can be adjusted with the help of cellulary muscle with this with the help of this cellulary muscle the curvature can be adjusted next one is pupil it is a hole in the middle of the iris. This is the hole in the middle of the iris through which the light enters the eye. In this, in this, with the help of this one only, the eye light enters into the eye. It appears, this pupil, it will appear black because whatever the light falls on the pupil, it will get absorbed, it will not get refracted. Therefore, it will appear black. Maybe in the, in the exam, they may ask, give reason why the pupil, it will appear black. Then you have to explain whatever the light falls on the pupil, it will get absorbed, it will not get refracted. That is the answer. Cellulary muscle. These are the cellulary muscles which are attached to the eye lens can be modified the shape of the lens. With the help of the cellulary muscles only it can modify the eye lens which leads to the variation of focal length because of this variation in the focal length you can see the image may be enlarged and also it may be diminished what is mean by the focal length the focal length is nothing but the distance between the center of the lens to the principal focus next one is iris it controls the amount of light entering the eye by changing the size of the wheel the main function of iris it will control the amount of light it will enter into the I with the help of the pupil with the help of this pupil only it, it can control the amount of light it may be more it may be less 
next one is very important one is optical nerve these are the nerves which take the image to the brain in the form of a electrical signals already i told on the retina only the image it will form when the image it will form on the retina that it will converse in the form of an electrical electrical signals with the help of this optical nerve the electrical signals it will reach the brain then later the brain it will recognize the image for example assume in front of you if the dog is there then when you see the dog the dog image it will form on the retina then that that image in the form of a electrical signal it will reach the brain that electrical signals the brain it will receive and it will recognize that is the dog that in, in this case in this process you can recognize the image next one power of accommodation the ability of the eye lens to adjust its focal length according as the distance is called the power of accommodation power of accommodation is nothing but if you want to see an object whether it is a far or nearer object your eye it has to adjust a particular focal length focal length is nothing but the distance between the center of the lens to that particular object power of accommodation the every eye is if it has a certain limit of power of accommodation it can't see very near object also it can't see very far object also this property we will call it as a power of accommodation persistence of vision it is the time for which the sensation of an object continue in the eye it is called it is about 1 by 16th of a second for example if you see an image if you see an object the image it will be in on the retina only 1 by 16th of a second only that short period then image it will be on the retina later it will be diminish okay we will summarize here human eye and part and their respective function pupil open and closes in order to regulate and control the amount of light with the help of the pupil we can control amount of light entering into the eye iris control light level similar to the aperture of a camera how the aperture of a camera it will control the light in the same way iris also it will control third one sclera protect the outer coat it will protect the outer coat of the eye fourth one cornea a thin membrane which provides 67% of the high focusing power on the cornea uh, the object the focusing power of the object it will occur at the cornea crystalline lens help to focus light into the retina normally you know on the retina only the image it will form this crystalline lens it will focus the image on the retina aqueous humor provides power to the cornea it will provides power to the cornea next one vertebrous humor provides the eye with its form and also shape it will give a proper shape to the i retina captures the light rays focused by the retina whatever may be the light rays falls on the retina the image it will form on the retina and that image that it will send in the form of a impulsive signals to the brain via optic through with the help of the optic nerve optic nerve transmit electrical signals to the brain whatever may the whatever may be the electrical signals received by the optic nerve it will transfer to the brain later the brain it will recognize the object cellular muscles contract and extends in order to change the lens shape of focusing it will contract and then it will expand to change the shape of the lens okay here let us solve some of the important multiple choice question based on human eye question number 1 which of the following is responsible for color of our eyes options are first iris pupil cornea rods which is the correct answer correct answer is iris iris is the iris is responsible for the color of our eyes question number 2 the least distance of distance vision for a normal eye eye is means the minimum what is the minimum distance you are able to see an object 
first one is infinity second one 25 centimeter third one 2.5 centimeter fourth one is 25 meter what is the correct answer correct answer is 25 centimeter within that 25 centimeter only you are you are able to see an object third question the anterior transparent part of the eye is first one pupil second one conjunctiva third one cornea fourth one is scala sclera correct option is cornea this is the anterior transparent part of the eye fourth one the nerve which is responsible for the vision is first one ol olfactory facial optic acoustic the correct option is optic nerve that is responsible for the vision of the eye question number 5 light rays entering the eye is controlled by option a pupil second one is third one cornea fourth one lens which is the correct answer correct answer is pupil six one size of pupil varies between 3 to 5 mm 2 to 6 mm 1.5 to 8 mm 1 to 10 mm what is the correct answer correct answer is 1.5 to 8 mm question number 7 retina in eye i act as a lens in the camera b shutter in the camera c film in the camera fourth one none of this which is the correct answer it will act as a film in the camera retina it will act as a film in the camera question number 8 in eye donation which part of the donor eye is utilized which part is utilized first one iris b lens cornea fourth one retina which part is used cornea cornea this part it will used in the donor eye question number 9 which is the innermost layer of eye which is the innermost layer sclera cornea retina iris which is the innermost layer option is retina retina is the innermost layer 10th question total number of extrinsic muscles which moves the eyeballs how many muscles they will help to move the eyeballs first option 4 th second option 3 third option 6 fourth option 7 what is the correct answer how many 6 that is the correct answer weight of the eye is sclera choroid iris retina which is the correct answer sclera weight part of the eye question number 12 the persistence of vision for normal eye is in seconds of first option 1 by 16 second one 1 by 8 third one 1 by 5 1 by 12 what is the correct answer correct answer is 1 by 16 that is the persistence of vision for a normal human eye thank you everyone for listening this is my first class please tell me your feedback